Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 18, titled Godspeed. They just released the first synopsis, and also we're going to be talking about a theory to do with Season 6. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to be going through the Godspeed synopsis. So they released that, I believe it was yesterday, and we haven't got a new trailer yet. Maybe we'll get that sometime in the next week or so, because The Flash comes back in just over two weeks and 16 days from now, because it's the 30th. And I'm really looking forward to that episode. But the theory we're going to be talking about later is, again, wildly crazy it's a wild theory and i found this on reddit so all credits go to it i will leave the link in the description below to the reddit post but i found it very interesting and i thought i would go over it in this video with you guys because again there's not too much news right now so you know there is a lot that we can theorize about compared to a lot of the news we're getting because we're getting no news basically apart from this new synopsis so let's break down this synopsis first Alright, so the synopsis goes like this, Daniel Panabaker directs, After discovering that Nora is working with Thorn, Barry and Iris disagree about how to handle their daughter in the wake of this shocking news. Team Flash isn't sure they can trust Nora, so they go through her journal to find out exactly how she came to work alongside their greatest nemesis. And so Daniel Panabaker directs this episode, which is very, very exciting to see her get her first chance to direct, do something behind the scenes rather than just in front of the camera. I think this is very exciting because, as we've seen in the past few seasons, we've had like Tom Kavanagh directing multiple episodes, he did the 100th episode, and they've actually been really good because I feel like they actually know the characters and that's not saying they're, you know, good directors by default because they know the characters, but I'm saying it can bring a little bit of, you know, the story properly into it when they're, you know, revising the scripts and stuff and they're like, hmm, I think we should add this in or, you know, I want to take it in this direction. So I think it's a good thing. Obviously, it's experimental because it's like the first time she's directed, but I'm very happy for her and... Obviously, there is a really good track record with Tom directing some of the best episodes recently. Alright, so let's break this down bit by bit for the Godspeed episode. That's what it's titled. And yes, for those people who are just new for this video, Godspeed is 100% coming. And so, just quickly, in the comics, Godspeed is a speedster villain. And he essentially, after a speed force storm, he gets powers. He becomes so enraged with these criminals, he ends up killing all the criminals and he ends up killing all the other speedsters who got powers from that speed force storm in order so he could be the most powerful speedster and get all of this and he is essentially the opposite or i guess a bit like the reverse flash but more brutal than eobard himself but he's the total opposite of barry he thinks he's a hero though in this case where reverse flash doesn't think he's a hero okay so let's break it down so after discovering that nora is working with thorn Barry and Iris disagree about how to handle their daughter in the wake of this shocking news. So, Nora, in this episode, she's going to be locked up, at least for the start of it. And then, we know from the behind-the-scenes looks, from mainly Ken of the Graphs and some various other sources, that Nora and Barry go to the future. So, a predominant part of this episode will be in 2049, and they will be there together. It's not like them just flashing forward or anything, because they're actually there. We see some 2049 number plates in past set photos that have been leaked, and we know Godspeed's there, and we see a different version of Nora. So that's all going to be happening in this episode, but in terms of the synopsis, how they're going to disagree, I believe from the trailer, you can see Barry does not, does not trust Nora one bit at all, and Nora is going to have to earn his trust back but I feel like Iris definitely feels like she's betrayed because at the end of last episode you sh saw her reaction although it wasn't as visceral as Barry's reaction locking her straight into the pipeline she had a reaction there is no doubt about that so I think Iris is just going to be a bit nicer about how to handle their daughter in the wake of this shocking news and Barry's going to be like no we can't trust her why has she been working with us what has she done has she been implanting things has she been manipulating us what has she done why has she been working with reverse flash there is no reason but so Nora's going to have to explain everything she's probably going to show him 
in the future, that's probably why they're time traveling. All these different events of her being a hero and her past essentially and what has been happening and what has led to her working with Reverse Flash. So I think in this episode Barry will find out about how the exact moment Nora actually came to Reverse Flash and when they start started working together in the future because we don't know that right now. We know they work together, now the team does, but we don't know all the logistics of how they first started but essentially Reverse Flash is like her mental figure. He has taught her a lot of what she knows. So the next part of the synopsis goes like this. Team Flash isn't sure they can trust Nora, so they go through her journal to find out exactly how she came to work alongside their greatest nemesis. So, Team Flash, so this is everyone, they can't trust them. They can't trust both, obviously, Eobard and now Nora, so the both of those. And as we saw in the trailer, we know Ralph has the idea to look through the journal, so they're going to be looking through the journal. Obviously, Sherlock has the translation, so he can actually tell everyone like what she's been writing. We saw some glimpses of that in last episode with Sherlock flicking through some of it. So I think they're going to actually just be conflicted about whether they can trust her. And I think by the end of the episode, not everyone will trust her, but I think everyone will have a sense of okay, so she's not bad. I think that's what's going to happen. And so they're just all worried because, you know, they have a really bad history with Reverse Flash. All right, so let's move on. And we're going to be talking about this theory that popped up on Reddit, which I find very, very interesting. And I have to mention, it's a bit out there. It's a bit crazy, but it's a cool concept for season six. So this is how it goes. So... In season 6 the main focus would be on a big bad from the original timeline. What is the original timeline? The original timeline is where Thorn never killed Nora and Barry and Barry had his kids where Nora was originally Dawn Allen and Don probably existed as well. We've had references to the, to the twins in the past but how would this work? So they would encounter a speedster aka probably Godspeed as a big bad and they would fight for an episode or two then the speedster makes a reference to the original timeline so they would be from the original timeline so what happens I think this is a cool concept what happens if Godspeed the reason why we haven't actually found out about him is he's been in the speed force because he escaped from the original timeline he was originally supposed to come and now he's finally made it and he's into our timeline and he's invaded and maybe this is part of the reason why the timeline was changing a few episodes ago was because Godspeed was manifesting in this timeline as well as obviously this different version of Cicada that we have right now. So what happens if it links in? I think that would be a great idea if Godspeed continued to be the season 6 villain because you know they're introducing him next episode and I really hope he's not just a cameo. I really hope he's going to be like the main villain on next season. Or just continue in this season at least so he's a massive character I think it would be a big waste if they don't do something big with that so if they make a reference to the original timeline that means we can originally go back to that original timeline so then team flash gets to thinking we got to go to the original timeline aka the timeline where Reverse Flash doesn't go back and Reverse Flash doesn't kill his mum and Barry becomes the flash much later and obviously Reverse Flash exists and that's where Reverse Flash is originally from so he would have glimpses into this and maybe that's how Reverse Flash knows about Godspeed but no one else does and maybe that's why in the Flash Museum in the future they never mention Godspeed because he's not supposed to come but Reverse Flash knows of him from the other timeline and by the way this is sort of me just going off on a tangent in my own theories along you know rooting off from this reddit theory so that he knows Godspeed, but then no one else does, and when Godspeed arrives, he's like, oh shit. And so that's what they introduce this episode, maybe. So I think that is a really, really cool concept. The idea that Godspeed could be from the original timeline, or, you know, a speed's the big bad. We're presuming Godspeed's going to be the big bad for season six. And so if he's from the original timeline, that will give us an excuse to visit that original timeline that everyone has been fascinated with many times before 
and we can go back and we'll see, we can see what Barry's life was supposed to be like because we never saw that. The only glimpse of that we saw was obviously Reverse Flash actually fighting the original timeline Barry and obviously we don't know what happens after that. So I think it's a really exciting concept. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of that concept. I think it's out there but I think it's a really good theory and I really would like the idea of God's be coming from the original timeline. That's why no one apart from Reverse Flash knows about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DC TV show. I'm really active over there. If you want to send in any theories, any ideas, just message me over there and I'll be sure to answer you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.